Burden. Hey, Jack Burden. The boss wants to see you. Hey, Jack, ever hear of a fellow called Willie Stark? No, who'd he shoot? Looks like it'll be the other way around if he keeps it up. He's really got the boys in the Kenoma County Courthouse worried. Politician, huh? What's he running for? Oh, county uh, treasurer or something like that. What's so special about him? They say he's an honest man. What I want you to do is to hop into your car. Well, you promised me a vacation. Oh, that can wait. Yeah, but there's a, there's a girl I know. Oh. Well, she can wait, too. The question is, can I? And the answer is, get up there. Right. Oh, um, what'd you say his name was? Mm. The fellow's name. Oh, the, um, Stark. Willie Stark. Willie Stark. I found him in Canoma City, a typical hot, dusty backwoods county seat. Believe in the lie to them in order to line their own dirty pockets with the taxpayers' money. When have the citizens of Canoma County ever witnessed a campaign like this? Why is the opposition so anxious to defeat me? Why have they used every dirty method known to make sure I'm not elected county treasurer? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they're afraid of the truth. And the truth is this. They're trying to steal your money. Yeah, I said steal. The county commissioners rejected the low bid on the schoolhouse. Why? Well, they'll tell you their reason is the job will be done better. The county commissioners would have you believe that they're interested in public welfare. They're interested in welfare, sure, but it's their own. Let's look at their reason in the light of the facts and the figures. That brick factory is owned by a brother-in-law of one of the commissioners. That same brick factory uses convict labor. Sorry, Willie, you'll have to move on. Why? City ordinance number 105. More than five people congregating is disturbing the peace. If you folks will be so kind as to read these handbills, my boy will pass them out among you. There's an ordinance against that, too. Pass them out, Tom. Let them alone. Get that camera. Lee, you're under arrest. snooping around town. You tiny duffy? What paper? Chronicle. You sure come a long way to stick your nose into other people's business. That's true. Only my boss on the paper can't see it that way. It ain't any of his business either. Whose business is it? Them as has turned into it. County commissioners, the voters of Canoma County elected to turn to the business and not take no button in from nobody. You a commissioner? Yeah. Name's Pillsbury. Dolph Pillsbury. Me too. I'm a commissioner too. <laughs> Who isn't a commissioner? He's the head man. Oh, then you're in a position to know he where I... He's in a position to know nothing and to say nothing. I thought you said he was head man. He uses my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tiny, you're a card. Ain't he a card? <laughs> yeah, he's a card. Uh, who thought up those city ordinances about arresting someone for making a speech? Who's arrested? Ain't nobody arrested. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. Did you apologize to Willie? Yeah, I apologized to Willie. Did you give him his handbills back? Yeah, I gave him back. Did you give him back his flag and his bag. Did you give this man his camera. I'm going to be on that same street corner tomorrow, Mr. Duffy. You go right ahead, Willie. We all believe in free speech. We got to. It's in the Constitution. My boy is out distributing those handbills now. It's a free country, Willie. If 
you can convince the people to vote for you, you go right ahead. What did you want to see me about, Mr. Duffy? I wanted you to meet a fellow that came all the way up from the state capitol to meet you. A reporter wants to write you up. Maybe put your picture in the paper. I'm happy to know you, sir. Burden's my name, Jack Burden. Can we go somewhere where we can talk? Oh, that ain't polite. Don't you want to hear both sides of the story? I know your side. What happened to the slate your men took from my camera? Must have dropped out. Oh, come on, fellas. Let's relax. It's a hot day. Hey, sugar boy, bring some cold beer for the boys. None for me. Thank you, Captain. Now you know Willie don't drink, Tiny. His wife don't favor drinking. And Willie's the teacher's pet, ain't you, Willie? I'll have some orange pop, if you don't mind. Orange pop? All right, sugar boy, bring him some orange pop. The, the, the pop uh, sold, sold out. <laughs> Did you hear that, boys? The p -p pop is sold out. <laughs> Now, wait to your car. He stutters, Mr. Duffy. But you, you don't say anything. Let's go, mister.